Hey what's up guys this is Akshay and today we have with us the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 running MIUI 11. So the all the download links and the tutorial will be in the description below on our official website. So as you can see it starts with a beautiful wallpaper and a new clock layout and guess what you can choose the clock layout. Let's unlock the device. Now as you can see uh, it has a beautiful home screen and icon just pops up. Rest everything seems very similar to the MIUI 11. Now you get the search bar in Mi AI, and Mi AI is the star of the show, and you can just speak to us or ask question like, "What's the weather today?" But it just replied in Chinese, and you just can't do anything until it comes to global version. But it recognized English, so I think it should come soon. Also, you have a new card layout, so which shows your today's activity. And this syncs with your Mi Band and give you more stats. So if you have a Mi Band, you can definitely enjoy this feature. Now this feature has always been exclusive to China Beta ROM because when I tried the Mi UI 10, uh, this feature was only present on that ROM rather than on global version. Do note that global version, global beta would not be coming this year. Xiaomi has decided not to uh, make beta ROMs and more, so they will be stable, which by, which will come to the Redmi Note 4 by end of the next year yeah this is always my story when MIUI 12 will launch in China MIUI 11 will come to Redmi Note 4 next year so it's better you flash China ROM all the download links in the tutorial will be in the description below so as you can see now you have a Mi AI and you can long press the power button to launch Mi AI so that's good okay and I like the animations and the overall feel of the device right now. Also, you have search, which also can come with this way. But now it has better animations. Also, the notification is very similar. There is no, nothing new about it. It's the same as the MIUI 10. Uh, now, let's go to the settings. Uh, as you can see, my device. And it has this nice layout which shows you all the specifications like the CPU is 625, battery is 4100, 13 megapixel camera, 4 GB RAM, Redmi Note 4X, and surprisingly Android version is still Nougat. So let me show you. Let's go to my device, all specs, MIUI version, Android version, is still Nougat. But uh, Android version really doesn't matter to me, why guys? I always tell like this. And sadly, last year, uh, sorry, this year in February, I switched to Mi A2 just because of the pathetic ads in the global stable and global beta ROM in India. So I just moved towards stock Android Mi A2 and absolutely love it. And surprisingly, there are very few ads in Mi China ROM, and those ads are just tailored for Xiaomi. Like it's Xiaomi ads itself, like Mi Store ads or Mi Credit ads, rather than Xiaomi India, which puts ads from AdSense or really other servers, which I don't like. So Xiaomi should learn from the China counterpart itself. Also, you have the same gallery, no new features, same camera app, no new features. Only you have a refreshed icons and look. Now, the stability here is just excellent, I would say. Now, let's go to some more features. For example, the display should have an ambient feature, which is really cool. You can choose the ambient display, but sadly, it doesn't come to the Redmi Note 4 because Redmi Note 4 doesn't support ambient display. But devices like the Redmi Note 5 are going to receive it. Also, you have the system font, which is, again, nice this time around. Uh, you can choose wallpapers. Uh, and the good thing is this card layout as you can see if I took four ringtone now it shows the school layout which is really good so me electronic me remix me jazz it just feels good let me try me jazz which is nice yeah. That's good. Uh, let's go to notification status bar you have everything similar to me 11 uh, let's go to storage. It's again 64 gigs, same. Now there's a more features in MIUI, so it's all about MIUI everywhere. So it can learn skills, it can help you preserve battery life. Uh, now MIUI Lab has a uh, photos, photos search in gallery, but I use Google Photos, so that's really matters to me. And a car mode, which is like also good, not bad. 
in explore new features so you have quick ball which was since mu y9 uh, this is the tap plus which I don't know what this is all about second space quick replies one and all this mu and features written here and also you have this night light mode so when you enable this light mode your okay so Gjan home screen so as you can see a very nice layout simple layout for someone who really don't know how to use it so you have contacts to the left and you have your apps to the right again I like it I would really like that, but I'm gonna change to default. So, MIUI Live, uh, and also let's talk about the battery life. Battery in performance, and now you have this nice animations. Uh, 3 4 hours, 21 minutes remaining. And battery is good, I would say. I think it's such an old device. Let's see what is the screen on time here. So, 3 days, 45 minutes since last charge. Whoa, that's just amazing battery life, I would say. And I'm really impressed with the stability, the smoothness of this device. Like, this just feels new. It's a four year old device, guys. Just see how smooth it is. Also, you have the app vault, you can just disable it, show memory status. Oh, so now you can just show the memory status. That's everything looks, looks similar. Now, there's a lot more to the story than we are seeing it here because this is a beta ROM. So more features gonna be added. Uh, let me go to the Mio official website. As you can see, it's all about this beautiful themes. Red dot winner. Uh, now again, Mi AI is the star of the show, and this is the ambient the display I was talking about. So these all are nine ambient display which which will come to your uh, lock screen, which is just amazing, I would say. Uh, so this this ambient display you can just download it and just like this is first phase of the Mi Band also you can reply to text messages from the ambient display uh, you get this cool ambient display it's all about looks guys and uh, there's some features that I don't know and there are specific apps like Mi Work, Mi Go the gold light version of the apps um, now what is this like Mi Oppo Vivo I don't know so I think it's wallpapers or something like that uh, and you can again sync with your PC and this feature is not gonna come to India guys I'm telling you if it do come it come it will come really late so as you can see MU 11 and guess what the, uh, now document is document editor is built in so you can open just PPT or doc directly from the MUI app itself you don't need to install anything and for that I think they have partnered with WPS so to bring these features to the table and uh, you can just connect multiple devices and control your smart home kind of stuff here and me AI again uh, thinking about me AI, there's a cool weather app now which is slightly changed let's search city to be Mumbai mm. Small changes just makes the experience really great, and that's for that's why I love MIUI. But it just shifted to me to this year just because of Xiaomi ads. So I would say just flash China ROM, be happy. You can see there are very few ads here, like and those ads are me ad itself rather than third party apps like Xiaomi India is pushing. So, overall, great experience. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye now.